In this video, I will show you guys how to edit like Iman Gazi and CapCut PC just like this. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be using this talking head video I shot earlier. So I will just quickly drag that here. The first thing that Iman Gazi uses is vignette. So let's use a little bit of vignette in the corners too, just like he does. So for that, we will go to effects and then we will scroll down here and find the vignette effect. So now I will just quickly drag that onto the footage. Let me also just quickly remove the audio. Um, and as you can see, the corners are darkened out. But you can also go ahead and edit the effect. So if you want a little less, then you can just use this toggle bar and put as much as you want on there. Imangazi doesn't use it too much. So we're gonna put it at like 50 and um, that should be fine. Now the next thing that Iman Gazi does is he adds this little bit of contrast in the lower third of his video, which just makes it look really high quality. So that's what we're gonna do too. So for this, you can basically just use any picture. So I will just quickly go online and get a picture right here. So I'm just gonna download this. Um, and then I'm gonna import it over here um, and have it in my timeline. So now, we want to make sure that it fills up the whole screen and we can make it even longer. So just like that. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go to something called canvas and then select color. And now you can select any color. We're just going to use this black. And now what we will do is go to mask and go onto this rectangle mask. And now after that, there's a little button up here um, and it is called reverse. So we're going to reverse that and then drag it up so that it covers the whole screen. Now we are gonna go ahead and click on here again and create a compound clip, just like that. And now we can pull it um, over the actual footage of ours. Now that we have this compound clip on top, we wanna click on that again and do another mask. And now we are just gonna use the split mask and we are gonna make sure that it's minus 180 degrees, just like that. And then what we wanna do is use the feather and then we want one. Then what we want to do is go onto the feather thing and drag it up to 100. I'm just going to pull it a bit down. So it looks something like this now. Now, of course we want to make it appear. So we want an animation. And for that, we're just going to go to the first frame of that thing uh, and basically go to O capacity, do a keyframe there and then go a bit in front like like this maybe like 20 frames or something like that and then do another keyframe now we want to go back to the first keyframe and put the opacity down to zero so now it should look something like this as you guys can see the opacity comes in and now it's there i think that's looking really good now to make it even better what we can do is make it more smooth so for that, we're going to click on our compound clip and show keyframe animation. Now on the capacity one, we're going to let it show and click on that frame and make it this curve. Um, so click on auto curve. I think that's easier to look at this. Now go on the first frame and make it auto curve two, just like that and make it auto curve two. And now that will look a whole lot smoother. So now we can close this up again by height keyframe animation, and then it will look something like this. Really, really nice. Now the next thing we have to do is animate our images so that they pop up here. So what we want to do for that again is go to a browser and I'm just going to go on YouTube now. And here I'm going to search for Iman Gazi. What we're going to do here is just basically take a screenshot of these three pictures. So just screenshot it and then make sure that it's just these three images in the screenshot. So just like this. Now we can go undone. And now we of course want to import it into CapCut. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just open this and pull my screenshot in here. So now we have that in CapCut 2. So now we want to cut this out. So what we have to do for that is basically go here to canvas and select a color. And now 
we want to look for a color that's not on this thumbnail. So I'm just going to use color yellow now. Maybe this yellow now. We're going to use this yellow. And now we can start masking it. So go up to mask right here. Here in mask, choose rectangle again. And now we want to fit the first image within this rectangle. So I'm just going to use these on-screen controls to fit it in there. Now an additional thing we can do is round the corner. So I'm just going to drag this up to like 20. And now this looks really, really good. Now what we want to do is export this frame. And how we do that is by clicking on these three lines up here and export still frame. Now we're on to the next image. And for that, we can basically just move this mask and you want to make sure to save this number right here, the Y axis. So it's 66 for me. It might be something different for you because we have to drag it over here and the Y axis can change because then it just looks messed up. So now I'm just going to put 66 back in here. Now we have it in the mask again. Now we'll do the same process again. So now I did it with all three images. Now what we have to do is basically do the same thing with the text. So we're going to go in here again. Now we're going to click on rectangle and make it fit for the text. So I'm quickly just doing that. So now the same thing again, we're basically just going to export it as a still frame again and name it text one. Now these other texts I will just quickly do and then I'll be back. Now that we have done all this, we can delete this right here. And now we'll have to import these different things. So we are going to import image one first and then make sure to drag it here so that it fits with our footage. So now we'll click on cut out and then on chroma key and select the color picker and improve the strength. So now it should look something like this um, and it should be cut out. So now we want to get text one and drag it above this image because it's the text for this image. And now we are going to do the same thing again. Go on cutout, click on chroma key, color picker, yellow, and then increase the strength a bit. Just like that. And then it should look something like this. Now we're going to do the same thing with all of the other images. So I will be quick with this. Now what I did is I quickly arranged the text to the images with um, the position coordinates right here. So I thought this looked really nice. So I just did that real quick. Now the next thing we want to do is make compound clips out of this. So we're going to select always two and then click on control and create a compound clip. So do that with all of them. Now these are obviously too large and they're not in the right position. So what we're going to do is select all of those three compound clips and now put the scale to something like 80, maybe 80% and now drag, drag it down right here. I think this looks pretty nice. So just like that. Um, and yeah, this looks pretty good already. Now what we want to do is obviously animate those. So what we want to do here is go to the first frame of that first compound clip and click on animation and in and then make sure to select the slide up animation. Now we want to make it 1.1 second long. And now what we want to do is go 10 frames ahead. And how we do this is you can click shift and then your arrow key to go 10 frames exactly in front. And now here we're going to do the same thing now. So now we want to just move the clip where that is and now put the animation in here again and make it 1.1 seconds long. Now we'll do the same thing with the last one. So here again, go 10 frames forward and put the clip right there and put in the animation. Now it should look something like this, which I think looks really, really good. You can obviously make it faster too, but this is like how Iman Gazi does it. And now on Iman's edit, it has this black um, noise to it. And it's actually really easy to add that in CapCut. So that's what we're going to do now. So black noise is right here. So I'm just going to drag it on top of my clip. And now you can see that there's some black noise on there. Now you can, of course, again, edit it so that it's not that fast. Maybe I will go for something like three. And that looks pretty good. 
So now we'll just add it to all of them and adjust the speed of course. Now another effect that we want to put on this is the camera shake effect. So for that we're going to go in here on the lens. So here I found the camera shake under trending. So now we're just going to drop this on here and we're going to put down the speed to something like five and also the range to something like two. And now we'll just do the same thing for the other two. So basically just drag that in here and adjust the speed again. So it will look something like this. So now it will look something like this. You're just gently shaking. So I think that looks really, really good. So this is how it looks like now. Now another thing that Iman Gazi uses a lot is jump cuts. So I will just quickly show you how to do these two. Now if I have my footage here, now I can just, for example, do a cut here where I do a little pause and then cut it again. And now you can just delete that little section in the middle. And now what we will have to do for the jump cut is of course go onto this one right here and scale it up, move it up a bit so that it looks something like this. Just like that. Now I want to make my head fitting so I just moved it a bit and this is how it looks now. And this is a really nice edit. Now another thing that he does is overlay transitions. Now the film burn is pretty simple too. For example, if I would put it in here now, I don't like the method of taking a film burn from, for example, YouTube, you might end up getting copyright strike and stuff like that. And I don't think it looks that good. What you can do instead is there's a transition called glare. So if you search that up here, glare two, then you can pull that in here. Um, and for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use another project right here. I have opened and put in the glare transition right here. So now we'll just click on glare and pull it in and you can make it faster or slower. And now it would look something like this. And now to make it even better, you can of course put in some sound effects that are like glare or like film burn sound effects and then it looks really good. So that was basically how you edit like Iman Gazi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more CapCut tutorials. And also let me know in the comment section if I should drop some free backgrounds and motion graphics and all that stuff for you guys if you want them. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.